Little Stevie Nicks, you didn't run away. You're still here. Stevie Nicks is still under the house. I don't know if she went out last night or not, but the one thing the kids were worried about was if she goes out, is she gonna come back? And I, was, I just told them that's just a chance we're gonna have to take. She knows where the food and water is. She knows where a safe place is, where a kitty bed is. So just keep our fingers crossed that she does what we hope she does. But uh, anyway, um, she can come out when she's ready to come out. So guys, I was kind of wondering, what am I gonna do today? Because it's one of those days where it's like, I got mid-afternoon interruptions and it's not really a day that I can do a whole lot. Um, but there's been a ton of growth out in the garden and it's gotten super hot the last few days. So I figured we'll do a quick little garden tour. And of course, before I grab my camera here, I see what's on YouTube and somebody's out there doing a 50 minute long garden tour. I'm like, come, a 50 minute long garden tour? I can't even stand outside of myself for 50 minutes. I promise you guys, I will never make a 50 minute video. But anyway, let's do a quick one here. Show you guys what's going on here. If we're gonna think in terms of good, bad, and ugly, this is about as bad as it gets here, ugly as it gets. This is, a, I gotta do something about the weeds out here. This is the nastiest part of the garden. Um, these are my yard long Chinese red noodle beans and yard long beans. I actually have a Chinese red noodle bean here forming, but um, it, I don't know. This has just been disappointing out here, these these noodle beans. Um, my cucamelons, they seem like they're starting to do something. I got a few more inside I need to plant out here to like finish this off. But the weeds, I gotta do something about the weeds out here. And then um, over here we've got birdhouse gourds. These are starting to look pretty good. Definitely, it's like the heat like amplifies this stuff. Once the heat kicks in, these gourds are just like going bonkers. These are the... Uh, Snake gourds, snake gourds are looking really good. And just over the last couple of days, they've just like kicked into high gear. And then we've got, uh, and then right here, this is all melons. These are honeydews on both sides. They're doing so-so, they're doing okay. I think the weeds, the weeds are my biggest nuisance with all of this in, in this whole row. I feel like that's my deterrent, my detraction from anything positive out here we've got cantaloupe cantaloupe's doing okay so so i don't know it's nothing to rave about but it's it's going and then the loofah gourd i'm pretty kind of dis uh, the loofah gourd i'm kind of disappointed in this this just looks awful this looks awful i don't know what to say about it but everything beyond this point of the garden is really pretty amazing um all these onions here i'm probably gonna pull all these onions here uh i think the fourth of july was roughly the mark we said that we had to pull them by so they're starting to show i really think these are about done i mean look at this guy that looks nice that looks nice i've been pulling an onion or two for dinner every couple of nights and it's been going well now this this is just bonkers. This is blowing my mind here, guys. This is a lot of volunteer tomatillo plants. Now, not only are these volunteer tomatillo plants, but I went through here with a hula hoe, annihilated this stuff. They came back up, went through two frosts, and I, I noticed that they were just going, and I was like, well, forget it. I'm going to let these things go because... They looked better than the ones that I had planted. Now, this one here is looking amazing. This is one that survived the frost. I put a put these here. Uh, everywhere you see a, uh, a rock out here is a plant that survived the frost. And then this one, this is a tomatillo that I put in after the second frost. So this was after everything went sour. I came out and put this in. Well, th this one here that I did from seed after the frost hit, it's actually showing like the most amount of uh, productivity, I feel like. Um, I'm probably going to be harvesting tomatillos off of this before I do any of the other ones. However, over here, these ones, these are these tomatillos I am going to be harvesting seeds from. I've had a, a request for some seeds, and uh, this will definitely be where I'm going to be taking them from it's going to be a little challenging getting in here and harvesting all this stuff because i mean uh, 
As I'm looking at this on camera, it just looks like a jungle, and believe me, it is a jungle. I barely got a little bit of a walkway here that I can get through. I'm gonna have to attack this like half from this side, half from the other side. But these tom oh anyway, the tomatillos are doing amazing. And what I had to compromise with with these tomatillos by leaving them there is that I've got a cucumber plant down here. It's trying to get its way out. There's one there, there's one down here. There's two of them, they're fighting for some sunshine. But by the time I get to this third one, these are market moors. Time I get to this third cucumber plant, it's starting to have room to grow. And then number four, it's doing good. And from here on up, it's it's pretty much okay. The market moors, these market moors are starting to show some cucumbers. But over here, these are um, be it alphas. And this is my first year growing these. Everything from here on up, these are a be it alpha. And I've seen videos where people just say these are just beyond massive producers. You can kind of tell, I can, I can tell the difference because they're like more, uh, the skins seem like they're more shiny and more smooth than the market moors. But these ones are really starting to show a lot of cucumbers. We'll be picking that one here pretty soon. So I've seen a lot of videos where they say this is like the plant to be growing for cucumbers. So I have high hopes for these Viet Alphas. So cucumbers are doing great. Tomatillos are doing amazing. And then over here we get into this. This is where the first trellis, the first string trellis that I started doing. And I feel like these tomatoes at this point are starting to like adjust. They've been acclimated to being transplanted and they're starting to, to do some, show me some growth. So I've wrapped them maybe once or twice since they've been in here, not a whole lot, uh, but they're starting to pick up. And then we've got these tomatoes over here that are just going wild and crazy and they're starting to show fruit everywhere so we've got uh getting lots of oh, the shade here okay i'm getting lots of the yellow pear tomatoes are starting to show i'm right there there's a ton of them. It's kind of hard to see all this stuff on the on film here, but there's a lot of green tomatoes in here. And they're slowly starting to turn color. Over here, we've turned into the atomic grapes. And same thing with them. There's a lot of green ones. Lots of green ones that are starting to turn color. And then these ones are the Romas. These ones just aren't getting very tall. Um, I'm not too impressed with these. These ones are the black strawberries. And I really don't know what to expect from these because these ones are new to me. But they seem to be growing pretty well. I think these ones are probably going to be the first ones that really start to give me a bit of volume and then we get over here into some cherry tomatoes and the cherry tomatoes are starting to do cherry tomatoes are starting to go off too I keep feeling like oh another week it's just gonna be a monstrous amount of tomatoes but I don't know what to say I guess probably another week it's gonna be a monstrous amount of tomatoes in this row, we got the ground cherries, and definitely it's new thing to me, so it's a learning, a learning experience for me as well here. But with these ground cherries, um, I've already eaten a number of these, and they've all been really small, but I feel like the plants are getting, since the weather really started heating up, I mean, it's been in the 90s the last couple of days, pushing 100, 
um, and since that they've really like put a lot of growth out and I've noticed that the fruit on these has increasingly gotten bigger. So, I mean, I've already had a couple of ground cherries that I've eaten, but they've been super small and everything that I'm starting to see now is like doubled in size. I've got a pepper plant or two kind of coming through. I started putting peppers in this bed and then the peppers died out in the frost, but I had one or two survive, so I just kept them in there. But that's a knot of pino, that's a knot of pino. So they're kind of fighting for, they're fighting for space in here. But all in all, the ground cherries are looking really well, as far as I can tell from what I know. Okay, ground cherries are doing great. And then we've got zucchini over here. They look stressed right now. It's just the heat of the day. A um, couple hours from now, they're gonna look amazing. In the morning, they look amazing. Uh, but uh, I'm harvesting a fair amount of zucchini off of these. They're giving me something to eat every other day. And I've got a couple more in the greenhouse that I need to get out here and plant and try and push it out as far as I can into summer, keep them going as much as possible. And the watermelons. I know there's, if I had one of the kids out here, Forrest would show me, but I know there's, they're starting to show lots of little watermelons. I don't know where they are off the top of my head, but I know they're out here. And same thing, just like everything else, it's, the heat has picked up and they've started to really show a lot of growth. So they're doing good. And then over here we got the tomatoes that I planted a couple of days ago. These ones, it's just, I'm waiting for them to feel like kind of acclimate to being here. And I'm just hoping that with these, by the time that all these tomatoes are kind of like hitting their stride, hitting their climax, these ones will start to kind of kick into gear. So I don't know, we'll figure it out. This is just lots of learning this year. That frost just like, it's like the, uh, it's the, the theme of the year for me is getting over that frost, I guess. But I have noticed these ones are, are doing a little bit of growth because I've wrapped this one since I put it in. And uh, one down at the bottom I've wrapped as well. So they're, they're acclimating, they're growing. The garden's progressing, it's doing well. Um, I wish things were further along than they are, but it is what it is and I'm um, gonna make the best of it. Things are starting to show fruit. I'm starting to eat stuff out of here. Um, hopefully the next time I go out to the farmer's market, I'll at least have a little bowl full of something and then the week after that, maybe a bucket full of something. Anyway, fingers are crossed. It's making progress and um, that's what I got for today. Thanks for joining me guys. See you tomorrow.